I've recreated the battle for Winterfell in They Are Billions. And now we're gonna see if we can survive the long night. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to They Are Billions. Where today, I have recreated the battle for Winterfell from Game of Thrones in the game. So I've tried to copy Winterfell and its tower locations from a couple screenshots, as well as the army formations they used in battle. And now we're gonna see if we can survive the long night. Of course though, since this is steampunk and not medieval, there are a few key changes, like instead of a flaming spike pit around the castle, we have spikes with loosters on the other end. Instead of having two dragons, we have two titans. And of course, there's the whole gun thing. But again, generally speaking, everything is pretty much the same. However, we will be using different tactics because the tactics in the show were a little mm, questionable. But I did keep their formations, trying to Order, stay sir. a little true to how the battle easy. went. Anyway, Good we are going morning, to start sir. moving people into Good position. Our goal is to take out the Night King, who we just hope is going to show up into the battle, and then we're going to take him out. So we just have to survive until he appears. And if we take him out, all the rest of the undead will fall, and we will be victorious. So we're going to position our units to actually defend our siege weapons, i.e. the Great Ballista. Then our elite units are going to guard the center, the tip of the spear. So in case we have to fall back, or when we have to fall back, this will hold while everyone tries to get into the castle through the main gate. And then with the rest of the units, we're just going to try and make a U. Because the main attack is going to be coming from the west. Dozens of infected are near the colony. Speaking of. <laughs> All right. They are approaching from the west. The long night Commander? is about to begin. Understood. So it is variable how long we have to last here. We just have to wait and see. If the Night King shows up, or when he shows up, of course, we might lose a couple hundred soldiers in the process, so it's a little sketchy. Really, I'm just going to be keeping an eye on the bottom right number here with our soldier count, just to see when we need to fall back. Until then, though, everybody is going to be in a tight formation, and we're going to hold our position. So in the show, they had a group of horse art, our horsemen that charged into the zombie horde. We're not going to do that, because that was ridiculously dumb. <laughs> and I don't want to suicide my units. So we're going to hold here. And we should be good for a, a bit, anyway. The siege weapons will take out the zombies in bulk. And then the soldiers hold the line. So everybody, hold position. And get ready. Oh yes, and another little thing. Zombies will be attacking from every direction. The main horde is from the west, but little hordes will be attacking from here and there. Just so the other towers have a little bit of action. Anyway, it begins. To see if we can survive, soldiers. There's no running. You are the only bastion that's keeping the undead from taking over the world. So, as tight as possible. No gaps, no flanking, no nonsense like that. Horde is moving in. Just trying to position as best I can. There we go. Don't want any soldiers kind of sticking out because those guys die first. And here come the undead. Okay. So far, so good. Of course, they trickle in little by little. But the undead hordes are limitless. They are billions. And we'll only be able to hold out for so long. In fact, you know what? Straight off the bat, these areas are looking a little weak, so we're gonna reinforce them with some of the vets. There we go. And I'm just looking for units that aren't actively engaging, like these guys. Come on. Or we can reposition so they can engage. Like moving these guys back a little bit. Go. Closing in on the siege towers. Alright. 
And we're going to be starting to lose quite a few units from here on out. But we can control our Titans to take out the large hordes if they ever do group up. Looks like we're doing well here. Oh my god. Yep, this is why we have the Titans here. Let's kind of close these guys in a bit more. Thin lines, thin lines. And they're starting to die. Obviously, the out dead outnumber the living. But we must hold the line as long as possible here. Alright, you guys. Scoot back. And we have to accept quite a few losses. We started at 737. We're we'll right down quite a few. This front area is not doing well. My gosh! There's so many undead! Everybody's holding though. Our flanks are looking good. The core of our forces is really getting hammered, but that's where we have the Titans. So we can keep kind of microwing so it doesn't fall. There we go. Oh my gosh, the flanks are doing well. Yeah, my butt. You guys move up. Up, 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 up. There we go. And more microwing. Alrighty. So far, so good. Down to 699 soldiers now. Unfortunately, we don't have flying units in the game, so we can't really maneuver our titans all too much. We can only use them to hold the core of our army. They're doing that pretty well. Maybe we could have these guys move forward. There we go. Jeez, the wheeze, man. Alright, so it's already D6. We're making good time. We've only lost about 50 soldiers since the beginning of the battle. All things considered, not bad. The Lucifers holding off the mini hordes that are coming from other directions. I'm just going to reposition a few here. Because some aren't actually doing anything. You guys move in. You're doing well. You move in. You guys move in. And these guys move towards the towers. Just so they're out of the way for when we have to retreat. Okay, though. Day 8 here, and it, things are looking a little bit more sketchy. We're down to almost 500 soldiers. Everybody is becoming vet, which is absolutely fantastic. But we still need quite a sizable force to hold this at the castle. What are you guys doing? Back lines are doing just fine. All right, and we need enough forces to cover our retreat. So before we go down to 500, we're going to start scooting. So fallback plan is we are going to take from the outside and go in. So these guys first. There we go, and we're slowly going to shrink the line until just the core is left. And then the core will fall back with the remaining units. So we're going to lose a couple here. But we're going to get a lot into the base behind the walls. And they're all going to be veterans, hopefully. So we can actually do a lot of damage. And we just hold out from there. 597, though. First group is almost back. Okay. Let's move the next group. Guys, come on. Let's go. Guys to here. To there. Oh god, you guys are getting absolutely rolled. Big ol' fallback. Go. Over there. Okay, let's tighten up. Uh -oh. Let's tighten up, let's tighten up. Can we get around? Nope, they're trapped. Go. Okay, and let's start to use our defenses a little bit too. We have the walls up here. Since I had to bring the power up here, I just built the walls anyway. So we have a couple ways or tactical things to fall back with. Okay. This is proving pretty This is going pretty well. Lost a couple over that way. Getting a lot back to base. You guys as well. 
You guys move in. Hold. Sweep and clear. Titans, take him out. There we go, 526, so we lost about 100 in the evac, it looks like. Okay, you guys fall back more. You guys fall back more. You guys, yep. We're all falling back now. Titans, now on group one. I need you guys to work together here. You guys behind a couple more walls. You just hold there since you're stuck. Okay. Going well, going well. You guys are just gonna start to move forward. Just along the wall, so you have something to defend with. The darkness is enveloping us all. Okay, it's time to run. You guys hold. You guys hold. You guys get back. Here we go. Okay, and unfortunately, some of Winterfell gotta go. There we go, just take out the walls, or the houses. Here we go, things are getting a little spooky. Titans, you're gonna fall to over here. You guys over here. Lucifer's, you're just gonna hold at the gate. Come on guys, get in the gate, get in the gate! No, brothers! Get in there! There we go. And we're gonna pull the Titans to the front line. Oh my freaking gosh, this has become a disaster. See, everything's all well and good. You think you have so many units, but then... Oh, it all goes downhill really fast. Especially when you're trying to evac. House, you gotta get out of the way here. All right, and the Titans are at the front line. The gate is our weak spot, so we have to have most of the Titans there. And soldiers move in. So with both of them together, we can do some sweeping and clearing pretty well here, pretty well. Go, hold, blast this house out of the way, hold. Okay, this is looking pretty good. All things considered, they're at the wall, but we're holding them here. <laughs> Rangers, it's time for you to do some work. Oh gosh, day 10 though. We survived a little over six days. And it's getting a little sketch. You guys move in to support. Keep holding the gate. The walls are all about to fall. My goodness, I thought the walls would hold a little bit better than this. My goodness, there's just so many of them, man. 450 soldiers left. They're through the wall. Blast it. Blast it. But the hordes aren't slowing down. The gate's gonna fall too, I bet. I don't know, it's, a little, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I'm using towers. Okay, and 450 left. Next course of action, we're gonna fall these guys back into the keep. There we go. And I think we're gonna have to have a few fall back as well. So we're gonna have these guys fall back next to the towers, so they're not directly being the walls themselves. Make some use of our fortifications here. Most of the city is probably going to get infected at this point, too. That's all right. As long as we survive. That's the only goal. This is humanity's last stand. The fortress may be in ruins, but humanity must survive. You guys move over here. You guys just move up here. Uh, we need the titans right up in front of the base. Okay. okay, wall's going down. My gosh, just repositioning is so difficult. You guys move in. Okay, we're gonna lose quite a bit here, but I have to get these titans into the keep. It's so much nonsense. I wish they could fly. Right, you 
has moved down. The 11 hour 14 has moved down. This is not good. This is not good. You guys hold. This is really not good, guys. <laughs> um, I don't know if ha humanity's making it through this. This is horrendous. All right, soldiers, you can move back up, though. You guys can move in here. Titans are right at the wall. Clear them out. Hold the line. You guys, group up tighter. Move in. Got soldiers all over the place. Beautiful. Okay. Just hold the wall. Hold the wall. Or hold the door. Oh, thank God. The Night King is heading towards our command center. This is our chance to take him out. Alrighty. We're close to victory. 378 soldiers left. But they are right next to our command center. And the Night King is on his way. Or at least he's been spotted. We just need to hold out a little bit longer. Send a task force out to take him out. And we win. Wall health is looking bad. Oh, there he is. Fantastic. Come on in, brother. Come on in. No, he's going after the walls. We don't have time for this. Uh, you guys are not doing anything. Go over here. Blast the house out of the way. Just move. There. To there. Titans, hold the wall. It's about to go down. We don't have enough time. Oh my god. The soldiers are going to be the last line of defense here. Right, hold out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just go. Just go get them. Hold, hold. We're through the walls. It's only a unit left. Ah! His health is going down, though. We almost got him. Come on, soldiers! Come on, move in! Move in! Oh my God! Oh my God! Soldiers are going down. The Night King's almost done, though. More than half health. I think we got it. I think we got it. Come on, brother. You got him. Oh, sweet mercy is on 1,500 health. Come on. We're so close. 300. Oh. oh D12, hour 22. We are victorious. The long night has ended, and a new dawn begins. Humanity has survived. Talk about close. Holy snap, we're right out of walls there. But we did it! We have survived the long night, and humanity will live on. Whew, not gonna lie, if the Night King showed up a little bit later, I'm pretty sure we would have lost. But we got a little lucky there. Anyway though, that's gonna be it then. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, if you want to play this map for yourself, I've uploaded it to the workshop. So I have a link to it in the description below. But again, that's gonna be all here. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>